That's where Steve Nash begins post game. It's been a while since we've talked about late game defensive execution. So why not talk about it tonight? What did you think about the way that that was going down the stretch in the in the regular uh, in in regulation? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd have to watch it back to give you a really clear picture, but. You know, one or two mistakes, but we also missed two layups, you know, and the game's over. So um, the last play was funky, too. The, the kid trips on the ball and is rolling around on it. And I think our guys fanned out to three-point shooters because uh, that's the only way we could lose the game. And he stands up and makes a shot. So, of course, you could you could say we, we made a mistake or two down the stretch. But, uh, you know, more importantly, if we had made a couple layups, the game was over. So um, still plenty to build on, but um, lots of positives as well. Do you see this as being an evolution from maybe some of your earlier games when you were looking at that defense in, in those crunch minutes? Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, I think we're improving on that side of the ball. You know, over time, we held them five points. Um, you know, we had good stretches, a couple poor quarters, but I think the first quarter we held them to 21. So there were stretches where our defense was really sw- solid. Um, but we, we, we recognize that it's going to be something we have to work on and address every night for the rest of the year and continue to get better at. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Steve, what about the way your ball club respond right there, especially at the beginning of overtime, making your first three shots, kind of putting uh, putting the memory quickly in the background and, and focusing on the task at hand? Yeah, it was a great response. You know, we, we you know you miss a couple of bunnies and they make a shot at the buzzer. Uh, you could fold. You know, you could think it's not our night. You could drop your head a little bit. You could come out and lack confidence, but we came out with confidence, made big shots, defended, rebounded, and took care of business in overtime. So a great response from our guys after a disappointing last, you know, minute or so. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, would, would you make a Knicks game, you know, career night for him? And then it looked like he had an ankle and, and a hit in the face. Just how's he feeling after all that? I haven't spoke to him, frankly. Um, you know, just just got, yeah, just just got here. So, um, you know, he was great. Um, you know, his activity was outstanding. Um, made a few mistakes, but so did everyone. And and uh, you know, he showed some ability. You know, he, he got fouls, blocked shots, steals, um, went to the basket, scored, made free throws. So, really proud of his uh, his ball game tonight. It was a big part of our win, and uh, he can continue to get better. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. Similar question, but for Bruce, I mean, this is fifth straight game, I think, in double-digit scoring. Just have you seen him kind of start getting comfortable in the offense and where you can find his shots? And then he also hit a three tonight, um, maybe more than one. What did you think about just his development as a, as a perimeter threat as well? Well, it's great when he makes threes, but, you know, that's not why we put him on the floor. When he makes them, you know, we're happy for him, and hopefully he continues to develop that part of his game. But... You know, when he's out there rolling in the basket and they're scared of James or Kai and he can, you know, play two on one or three on two and finish at the rim, you know, he's found a, a niche there. And, you know, like I said, I really, really admire his ability to, to roll and finish and make plays. Um, you know, he plays so hard, so much energy. He took the ball in the basket coast to coast a few times tonight as well. So, uh, you know, he expanded his game a little offensively tonight, but, you know, that's a bonus. We, we love Bruce because he's such a competitor and fighter and, and, you know, he's really clever at kind of playing that role or position as a guard. Mark Medina, USA Today. Hey, Steve. Um, I, I know part of this has to do with James's talent, but what else has jumped out to you as far as his ability to blend his game together with the rest of the group, regardless of who's on the floor? Well, I mean, he's a brilliant basketball player. Uh, you know, he makes others better. He can get to the line. He can finish in the paint, and he's a uh, – always a threat from three. So he's, he literally can do almost everything there is to do out there. And he's been a great leader for us. So he can control the game. Um, you know, he's a very smart defender. I think he's been outstanding as far as just keeping his team on track, you know, leading, uh, talking things out, communicating, and, and his, his passion for the game and willingness and want to win is, is uh, fantastic. Sirat Soe, Yahoo Sports. Hey, Steve, uh, I just had two questions related to Bruce. First of all, like, what does it do for a defense when a guy communicates at the level that he does? It seems like he's talking a ton. Um, and when did you realize that he could be a roller for you guys? Yeah, I mean, Bruce is a, is a terrific defender. He works so hard at it. Uh, he's aware of the game plan and our schemes, uh, so he communicates well. Um, 
you know, I just realized that if he's going to play, you know, he's probably going to have to be a slasher, roller, play in the dunker position. And, you know, that's not an easy thing to do for, for guards who don't, you know, haven't spent their career doing that. But he's picked it up so quickly. Uh, he's finished around the rim. Uh, you know, he's, he's now very comfortable in those spaces and those positions. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's been amazing how he's developed into that role. And I just thought it was a way to, to keep him on the floor so that he can defend for us. And, you know, he's turned into now an offensive threat because he's accepted that role and he's done fantastic.